Liam, welcome to Bristol Rovers. I'm sure you must be pleased to, to get the move done in Dusty just after the end of the, the old season. Yeah, um, you know, I was saying to, to my family, I want to get it done before uh, even my holiday, really. Um, I've got a holiday in the middle of June, so I wanted it done before then, so, you know, I can go there and just um, relax and enjoy myself um, before I come back with, with, you know, to a lot of hard work and pre season. So, yeah, it's good to get out of the way. It's very early, isn't it, for a, for a signing to take place? How long have you known of Rover's interest? Um, I've I've known for quite a while. Uh, I knew they were interested for for a bit, um, but yeah, it's happened quite quickly from from when they have. Um, you know, I didn't really know too much. I, I had a lot of I had a few clubs um, interested in me, and I didn't I didn't realise how how quick this would move. Um, and I've I've come today, and you know it's it's. it's We've got it all out of the way, and you know I can't wait to get started at, at this at this big club. We seem to link with Hibernian in Scotland as well. I mean, that's one of several, I guess. Yeah, um, I always meant to um, go and have a word with them, but you know that's I, it's not really for me. And, you know, as soon as I knew Bristol Rovers were, were interested, that um, you know there, there was only one place I wanted to go, and you know a lot of people who know me they they'd, they'd know how much um, I'd, I'd love to to have joined these. Um, and you know I can't wait to get started, and I'm very happy. Well, you're, you're fairly local, Exeter, just down the road. You were born and bred there, and you played for Exeter for a number of years, didn't you, before going to Oxford? Yeah, um, I think that's another big, big thing for me, um, being closer to, closer to home again. Um, you know, I, I won't, I won't be moving back there and travelling. It's not really for me. So I will, I will settle in, in Bristol. Um, and you know, if if I love it here that much, then I, I will set up here with my family and live 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 my life here. So um, I'm looking forward to to getting going. I love Bristol as an area, and you know, when I come come up here with a family and things like that, and go to the the, the city, um, it's lovely. So you know, I can't wait to get started with these, and hopefully, we have a good year. You, you've played a few games against Rovers over the years. I think I've counted seven at least. Uh, you maybe maybe missed a couple, but uh, you've had some memorable memorable games against Rovers. Yeah, I was just saying um, to Daryl then. Uh, my last two two games there is, you know, I got sent off one one of the times, and I, I set up uh, Matty Taylor for the winner. So I said, "What are you signing me for?" But um, no, the, we, we, was having, we was having a laugh, and you know, I, I hope to help this club move forward because it's a big club and and it can definitely go places. Um, and I just want to be part of that, and it's, it seems like a, a, a really good group, uh, as Daryl was saying. I mean, well, it's been. Quite a few, three successful seasons, if you like, uh, getting out of the conference, out of League One, and a successful first time back, out of League Two. Sorry, a successful time back in in League One. So, y- you've had promotions yourself. Well, I think uh, three promotions. Yeah. Yeah. A couple with Exeter and one with Oxford. So you know what it's like to get out of a league. Yeah. Um, you know, and I was saying to Darren, then, as long as you've got a a, a a team that you know want to work for each other, and you know. Um, you're tight as a group, uh, and you'd work for each other all the time, no matter what. Um, it's, it's, that's the kind of promotions that I've had. It's, it's been a good group of good, good group of players that, you know, all like each other on on and off the pitch. So, he was saying there's a good group here, um, and you know, I look forward to meeting them all, um, and hopefully, I can add, add add a few things to the team that can help move this club forward. Was that the same at Oxford? Because Oxford and Rovers promoted together. Uh, last season, did you have a, a tight knit group there as well? Yeah, um, in in my um, free promotion I've had, they, they they have been real tight, um, good groups of, of people, and I think that's what you need. And Daryl was saying there's a good group here, and you know I'll I'll enjoy my time here. So um, hopefully I can fit in with, with the other lads, and you know I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure I will, and you know hopefully we can move forward and have a really good year, which I'm confident we can do. Do you know any of the Rovers lads? Apart from playing against them, though. yeah, I, I don't, I don't really know, to, I don't really know any, but um, I've played against them, like you say, f- uh, quite a few times, and you know, I was saying again, um, you know, they're, they're they're a tough team to play. Um, they have a, a good a good work rate about them, and, and it's it's very tough games against them. So um, you know, hopefully, I can fit into that. Cause, you know, I'll always I'll always give it my all, and I'll always give you know under under and ten percent every every time. Um, even if it's not going too well on the ball, so um, yeah, hopefully I can add add a few few bits to the team. Looking at your goal record, you've got quite 
quite a consistent goal scorer from midfield, which is, is a bonus, I guess, and one reason why perhaps Daryl's had a look at you uh, and invited you down here. Yeah, he said he's um, quite a, an attack-minded manager, and you know, he, he said um, he, he wants wants me to you know to make things happen uh, in in around the opposition box, and hopefully, I can get a few goals and and uh, create a lot more. And you know, as, as long as I'm creating chance for others as well, um, then I'm happy. And you know, I want to grab myself a few goals as well, and obviously help help this club. What would you say your, your main strength was? Goals are a bonus, I guess. Is it? What, what would what would you bring to the team? Do you think? Um, I'd like to say I'm, I'm quite all round, um, but I do like to I do like to get forward. Um, I'll always work as hard as I can. Um, I'll run myself into the ground every game, um, and yeah, like you say, goals is a big thing for me. If, if I can nick a few of them, um, uh, just you know, it, it's a help. It's a bonus, um, and you know, I like to create things for for other people. But as long as everyone works hard as a team, and and that's how that's how I'd like to start off. I'd, I'd always work and, you know, kind of the football side of it takes care of itself. Would you have worked with Marcus Stewart down at Exeter? I did, yeah. Um, I, I, with him, I played with him for a couple of years and then um, I got coached under him. He was a, a player coach, so I know Stewie quite well. Um, I know how he works and I know he, he demands high standards from everybody. Uh, and that's why I think this, you know, this club's moving forward in the right direction because I know what he's like and... He's a good bloke and a, a good, a good yeah, I guess he's a good manager. I, I wonder if that's where your goal scoring instincts came from, whether you, you benefit from his coaching. Yeah, he used to take um, finishing sessions um, and, you know, he was, he's, he's got a few goals himself, <laughs> uh, I think over like 300 maybe. Um, so, yeah, he, he definitely knows where the, where the net is and, you know, hopefully he can, um, you know, I, I look forward to working with him. Um, I'm sure he'll put on some more more sessions like that, and you know we can get get that get that going again. Two Wembley appearances, uh, Liam, the last couple of years, both in the trophy final. With two losers' medals, uh, but a goal this time around. So uh, looking for a hat trick next year. Yeah, it'll be nice. Um, uh, yeah, I've been there twice and lost twice, so you know it's not the best. But um, you know, if we can, well, we, we, we'd rather. Uh, Leave the leave the playoffs. Um, and, you know, hopefully aim higher than that. Um, I, I'm, this club's capable of that, so um, we'll do our best. But you know, if we can go to to Wembley and win, it will be it will be a lovely, lovely, a lovely day. Did you feel for your former team on on the weekend when they lost to Blackpool? I did. Yeah, I, I was I was up there. Um, I have a few mates, quite a few mates playing for for Exeter, so um, I'll, I'll go for them. I'll, I'll do feel for them because it's a lot of hard work. They had a a mad year, really. They were bottom of the league and then um, made the playoff final. But you know, weren't to be. But hopefully, they they do better next year. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was there supporting, but it was it was a shame. Just finally, I mean, how has Daryl Clark sold Bristol Rovers to you? Um, he didn't really need to sell it to me. I I knew how big this club was, um, and I knew, I knew the kind of team they were, um, and I, I knew I could fit in fit in well with that. Um, and it's just it's it's a bonus that it's. Um, you know, down the road from where I'm from, where all my family is, uh, and like I said, anyone who knows me uh, will, will know how happy I am to to be here, and, and that's for, that's a fact.